Alright, how's it going guys? Um, I wanted to do a quick unboxing on the Rurouni Kenshin Complete TV Series box set. Um, this has been out of print for the longest time and a lot of people have been worrying whether they're uh, bootleg copies or, or still legit um, uh, Media Blasters copies. Um, I'm not sure if this is a bootleg or not. I, I hope I hope it's not, but even if it is, I'm whatever, I'll still keep it because I don't see Anaplex releasing this series anytime soon, so... Um, even so, if it is DVD quality, it has like a bunch of discs, I, I don't mind. In the meantime, this is fine enough for me. So yeah, let's get started. As you can see, it says Rurouni Kenshin. It has a picture of Himura Kenshin. It's a TV complete series. And here he is holding the reverse blade. Here on the spine, it says the same complete TV series. This is an anime works, but don't be mistaken, that's just a sub-label. It's still Media Blasters. Welcome to the Meiji era. Contains the entire TV series, all 95 episodes on 22 DVDs. Here you got uh, Kenshin again, and you got Sonosuke. It has uh, textless openings and closings, character bios, liner notes, character greetings, outtakes, attack list, art gallery, character messages. And here are a few screenshots from the show. I won't spoil anything, so... Let's get on with this. Here on the bottom, you got the info on it. Anime Works, Anaplex owned. It is a 22 disc set, DVD format, widescreen, full screen, 2.0 uh, English audio and Japanese audio. It's uh, 13 and older, region 1. Right here on the spine, you can see all three box sets. This is uh, considered the economy box set. These were actually released before in, in a premium box set, but those are uh, pretty expensive, and those have been out of print for a lot longer, too. Alright, now let's get on with this. Alright, there's nothing here on the inside. This is a... I heard that the bootlegs come in clear cases, but I, I can't be too sure about that. And, uh... But yeah, mine came in black ones. I don't know if that makes them legit or not. But yeah, here you got all three box sets. Season 1, 2, and 3. Here you got the Wandering Samurai arc. You got the Kyoto Inferno arc with the uh, main antagonist, Sh uh, Shishio. And here you got the infamous third arc that nobody really likes. And yeah, let's see what's on. Actually, let me just flip them all over. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll try to show everything at once. Yeah, I, I really love collecting old anime box sets. As much as I would love this on Blu-ray, um, it's kind of nostalgic just to own like an old, out-of-print box set that, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. I don't think these are coming back. And this is back in the day when Media Blasters still owned the rights to Rurouni Kenshin. So yeah, Season 1's pretty good. It's kind of slice of life and a little bit character development. Season 2 is where the series really takes off. The Kyoto arc is really arguably the best of the three, and uh, season three is not that good. I heard it's a bunch of filler and it's not even true to the manga, so I'm still gonna watch it. I actually haven't seen a series be a season before, but nonetheless, I'll still check it out. And here on the inside, you got all the discs. These are all the volume discs. That's why there's so many of them. Make closing. Here you got disc uh, or season two. Pretty cool artwork on them. And then season three. Oh damn it! This one broke. All right, fell out. I'm not sure. I'll put it in later. But yeah, that pretty much does it for the Rurouni Kenshin uh, economy box set. If you can still find one of these floating around online or in an anime store, do pick it up. For what it's worth, this is a pretty good set. You get the entire series. Uh, I don't know how many episodes it was. I forgot. 95 episodes. And this is one of the t uh, Toonami classics that aired back in the day. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. 
Um, the Rurouni Kenshin is a really great series, and I would love to uh, see the rest of the show adapt, but that never happened. This is a Bang Zoom Entertainment dub. It's one of their earlier dubs. Um, not to be mistaken with the Sony dub, don't watch that dub. You want to watch the uh, the Bang Zoom dub. That one has better voice actors like Wendy Lee, Lex Lang, Steve Bloom. Um, oh, and from the Sony dub, they carried over the Kench, uh, Kenshin actor, uh, Richard Hayworth. He actually was in both dubs. But uh, yeah, he was a lot better in the Bang Zoom dub. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic again. I, I kind of like knowing the history of anime I watch. But, uh, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Watch Rurouni Kenshin if you can, and if you could pick this set up, do. It's really, really fun to watch. So thanks again for watching, guys. Take it easy and have a good one.